everyone, we're back, and this is our coordinates, this is where we left off yesterday. Hello! And uh, today we are going straight again. Yes. So it is episode 8 of Minecraft Hardcore Challenge, The Great Race. Now, I have no way, any way, shape, or form thinking that we're going to win this, but as a challenge to ourselves, we do want to try and get as far as we can. Well, we could always skip up to the... I mean, we've got enough iron. We could skip up to the to the roof and, and sprint it and make, you know, plenty of distance. We could. I just don't feel comfortable doing that. Well, we're going to go in here for today. And then you're keeping track of the day, right? What day is yes. it? Yeah, it's day seven. Okay, so... When it turns eight, we, we need to stop. Okay. Um... This whole episode is going to be more or less, you have to listen to us talk while we dig. Then the ne last episode, because we've got nine episodes in this month, will be, we plan to make our portal and go back up to the overworld, because we have to be up in the overworld for the... Coordinates to count. Yes. yes. And we will run like mad. Mm-hmm. So... That is our plans and our intentions at the moment. There's a bit more than anything. This is we just want to see how far we can get doing this, because this is another one of his harebrained ideas. <laughs> hey, um, so far we've been surprisingly safe up here. In all honesty. Well, yeah. I mean, the the ceiling is just above us. Well, that's that's what I figured. We had one section of of security. You know, as long as we don't mine into a lava packet, we're, we're fairly safe up here. Which means I wouldn't be surprised if I mined into a lava packet. What surprises me is that the gas are up this high. Well, I don't know if it still is or not, but it used to be uh, if you punch through the, the bedrock, uh -huh. because it wasn't always solid at the top or the bottom, because, you know, at the bottom you can go th fall through. Yeah. At the top, you could sort of do that, too, at small spots. I don't think you can anymore. But the gas would actually spawn up there, too. Ah. Pretty sure that doesn't happen anymore. Because I'm pretty okay, sure... That's, is... that's when the nether was first released. Yeah. And I felt old. I actually remember that. The nether wasn't there to begin with. Was it? No. Let's no. say, because it was neon trees, neon grass, and... It's pretty amazing when we can look back, because I mean, I still find it strange looking at stores and people coming up and buying Minecraft stuff. And yeah, I bought it right after, because I've been playing it since Alpha, and I bought you a your copy in beta. just real shortly after it went to beta. So I mean, we've been playing it for years, and it, it's really an interesting experience to be able to watch a game grow the way Minecraft has. Yep. It is fascinating and it's not real. It's. It's exciting to see it doing so well. For me personally. You know, I'm excited for everybody that's still currently working on it. And I mean, it's just fascinating. It's a little leery to wonder what direction it's going to go next. Yeah. But at the same time, that's a larger entity that can do more. Mm -hmm. I mean, bless his heart, there's only so much Notch can do. There's so much, only so much Jeb can do. Even as, as large as they've grown Minecraft. Need more picks? No, I have some other one. I made a, a bunch of them. So I did, and... But no, it is very interesting. And at the moment, it says we're trying to get Christmas sorted out. And well, for everybody watching, Christmas will have been gone by now. I oh believe. yeah, we are recording this early. We are recording this on the twentieth. So we are because we again we have family here and we have hospital appointments. And yeah, we've got a we've, we've got a Christmas Eve doctor's appointment, as a matter of fact, which is weird. 
but it's a very important appointment it's for his dad and it's to find out if the cancer is further into his liver or anywhere else in the surrounding area mm -hmm. so uh, we were there yesterday and he had a PET scan um, because he can't have an MRI because he's got a pacemaker and he can't have the dye contrast because he's only got one kidney because I don't know if we said this before but he's already lost one kidney in 2004 to cancer yeah um, I mean both Ricky's, well, Draco's parents, yes, his real name's Ricky, both of his parents are cancer survivors already. And they're both on. Well, this is your dad's second time, isn't it? Yeah, this will be dad's second. And his mom has had it at least. This will be her fourth time? Uh, it depends on if you include all of the different. Uh skin cancers but yeah basically but that's me just counting them as one she's had skin cancer and she's had breast cancer twice okay your turn okay, okay. I'm out of picks um, but yeah she's an amazing woman too you know she's gone through so much already yeah so she has um, yeah we've got the two of them going through it now so we're trying to make it a, a good Christmas and make it one that they will remember. And that um, my sister will remember especially. And most importantly is one for her sister. Um, I'm she sure is we, going to be so spoiled. What do you mean she is going to be? She already is spoiled. Well that too, but by the time they watch this she will have been so very spoiled. We won't see her for weeks because she's going to be in her room doing her art. We have bought her so much art stuff. And DVDs. And DVDs. Dis di it will be Disney and coloring. And coloring at Disney. And paint. And yeah. wind chime decorations and... And Disney. And Disney and Disney and Disney and, and Disney. It's and his sister, she's 30. Um, but she's got Down Syndrome. Oh, I need to eat. The, and, the, uh, the, the Frozen will be non-stop. <laughs> let it go, let it go. I can't take this movie anymore. But yeah, she's asked Santa for the Frozen DVD, and Santa has got her the Frozen DVD. So yes, and uh, one thing we actually did for her was, I mean, I would love, I mean, absolutely love to be her age and still believe. Uh, it's day eight, we need to stop, yeah? Yeah. And, I mean, here, I'm going in front of you. Right. And... I would love to still have the belief that she has. Um, so what we did was she'd written a letter to Santa and, and you have to understand one of the things that we have to do is we have to check the mailbox when Cindy's in the mood for writing letters because there's no address. It's normally a, with her own name on the front of it and you have no idea what she puts in them. Neither does the post office to be fair. So we always try and catch it first, but she'd written Santa a letter. Well, I say a letter, she drew him a picture. So what I did was I, we were leaving, at the di we, we were going to another hospital appointment that morning. So I put the letter in my handbag and I said, I will make sure Santa gets it. So I went online and I found a thing where you can do the personalised letter from Santa. And I got them, well it was a personalised email technically, and then I printed it out for her. And I got the envelope and I, I hand drew a, like a postage mark so that she didn't get suspicious because she knows things are meant to have stamps on them. And uh, so she got a letter from Santa. And then she saw him at the theatre. Yeah, we were lucky enough we went to a broad Christmas Broadway. Yeah, yeah. Christmas on oh, Broadway is the Oh, I nearly pooped myself. Okay. That was close. Um, let's just do that. And uh, lo and behold, there was a man beside us. Well, I say beside, he was just in front of us a little bit. Who would be a... Even I thought he looked like Santa. And he did. He, he really did. And if you could have seen her face. Her eyes lit up and... <gasps> 
look who it is and he was very gracious and he came over and he asked us to take a picture with her so he did so that she had a cup you know a picture and she just absolutely loved it so we were able to re reiterate to her that Santa's everywhere and Santa is watching mm -hmm. she also stuck her belly out as far as she could said hi fat just like you I'm sorry <laughs> yeah, while rubbing her belly. She, I mean, if the one-liners this girl comes out with is so funny because it's so situational. Um, it like for example, she burps, and we've we've been teaching her manners and that. I'm telling you, you know, you say excuse me, so she does. She says excuse me, you know, my tummy burp. Well, <laughs> the other day. Well, yeah, it was the other day before yeah. the musical. We were at a restaurant, and she farted, and her reaction was, "Oh, excuse me, my bottom fart, my bottom burped." Yep. Um, she, she just the one line that she comes out with is amazing. She's no idea what. My my favorite still her not not jokes. If you can call them that, yeah. Well, first I'll tell you a Cindy joke. Not not. Who's there? Santa. Santa who? Knock knock. Who's there? Ricky is a donkey. Get it? Nope. That is a classic Cindy joke. Yeah, it is. Oh, my hands are sore. I go. No, no, Rick. No. Well. Well, you not... said your hand was sore, so. Yeah, but I meant sore as in my, I've been having problems with my arm sore. I don't know what is back there. I think it's just a little pocket. Oh. Where? Sorry, I was looking. Well, that's fine. Just. <laughs> What day That's is? not into the X. You check the time? Uh still day seven. Okay, you gotta keep on track of that. But we are at almost oh. two thousand. Uh Oh I wonder how did they make the noises for the guests? I don't know. I would love to know how they did that. Or what they used. You know, is it like a cat's meow that they like distorted? Is it freaking chinchilla noises that they've distorted? I don't know, but i I'm to me it would be get a baby's noise and, and distort it heav heavily. What but, the hell baby do you hear? Well no, you drop to the me octave. It sounds like an animal, not a freaking baby. You drop the octave for, for most of for uh, the howls. I'm having your the octaves quite substantial for for the normal and you speed it up. Freaking babies you've been seeing. Or uh, less than so. Maybe that of the demon. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, I, I, I don't know what you mean. Uh huh. And he wants eight. Oh, he used to want eight. He always said that he wanted eight kids, and I've always said no. Yep. Why did you want eight kids? Well, I figure we have to adopt at least one to have a, a decent pitcher, because no offspring of mine should pitch. I'm, I'm I sure. used to pitch for cricket. Yeah, I'm still saying we probably need to, to adopt a pitcher. <laughs> So if you get eight and then adopt one, you've got enough for an entire baseball team. You'd also need a bus to freaking go anywhere. Yeah. Or a rocket ship. <laughs> I don't think quite, you know, a rocket ship to, you know, a baseball game really We works. have to be to school in two minutes. We need a three second burn on the Delta V. No. <laughs> And what some people might realize is this is the man who taught his class how to make a laser gun. 
No. A laser ray. Uh, uh, it was a cathode ray gun. Ray gun, that's the word. It was just highly charged and excited electrons in a, in a cohesive stream. Which can... Well, if you don't look directly into it, it's not going to hurt you. You know, much. Unless you have it on for a long time. Uh-huh. Well? And this is a man that's applied to become a... <laughs> A school teacher. Well, see, these these are the things that are important for our youth to learn. Yeah, how to build a ray gun and, you know, the zombie apocalypse. Yeah, nuclear physics, atomic ray guns, what spaceships. Day is it? It's still seven. But we're over 2,000. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We are making the progress. Yes, we are. So anyone who's watching this is bored, I do apologize. Uh, we should have a little bit more interesting episode next one. Yes. Instead, you're just getting to listen to us. Yes. Well, you know, it's after Christmas. You guys should be relaxing and enjoying the, the sights and sounds of family and friends and presents. And, what did you get for Christmas, mister? I don't know. I haven't gotten it yet. <clears throat> Liar. I do have a tablet that I've been using an awful lot, to be fair. For? Uh, mostly Boom Beach. No, you <laughs> got it for? I got it for, I got it for school. I got no, it for... you did not, you friggin' liar. I bought you it for Christmas. Yes. Not just for school. Well, yes, I know you bought it too for me for Christmas, but if uh -huh. it wasn't no, no, but, for school... But, you know, I got it for school. One, no, you did not. I got you it. And two, not just for school. No. And I'm not going to use it just for school, but the primary reason for me having one is so I can take any of my online classes for my master's. While we're in the hospital. Yeah, or in the hospital. Or and, and things like that. But, and it's also why he has it now, is I bought it. And uh, I, uh, I gave it to him early because we were having, it was when his dad was in the hospital the last time and for him to pass the time because you know it's been really rough still day I have wood if you want to make a chest no I'm just throwing it behind us <laughs> uh, the next person who comes through this tunnel is going to have a massive amount of netherrack just everywhere I wonder how much longer because somebody's knocking on our door uh, still day 7 Okay, just one minute. Do, do, Carry on do, digging. Do, do. Okay, okay. Dig, dig, get hard. Oh. Of course, naturally that's my mind. Dig, 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 the depths of Netherrack. Here, where ancient pigmen built their civilization. Oh. Welcome back. Sorry about that. Is it? We're living with our in-laws, and we we do warn them. We we normally tell them when we're recording, and please bear with us. And instead he just sat at the draw banging because he wanted you to build something. And bear with us. <laughs> 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 and we, we normally have the understanding that if we don't answer straight away, it's because we're doing something. Hey, hey, I what you Not that. <laughs> you ain't that lucky. So, oh. But yeah, all of that because I want you to build oh, a trick. Oh, typical. Yeah. Okay, everybody. I will go now and show him what he wanted, and we will see you next time. Yes. Bye. Bye bye.